My name is Federico Casaleño and I'm Associate Professor of the Practice at the MIT and I lead and direct the MIT Mobile Experience Lab within Comparative Media Studies and Writing. Well, the focus of the research is um, to uh, rethink and imagine new media and technologies to better connect people, information and places. Somehow we want to uh, I don't want to say control technology, but at least to design technologies in a way that really support the human life and, and societies. So it's necessary to understand how people live, how people utilize media information, how people access to knowledge in order to design creatively new media and technologies to better support humans and communities. We do not want to design technologies per se, and we don't want to um, design uh, new media technologies that support themselves. So basically we want to design uh, technologies around people, not people around technologies. What is very important for us right now is first of all to make sure that we start to understand uh, how people and humans works and then how we can design technologies to better support human activities. And this can be on a variety of topics, can be on health, can be on the tourism and hospitality business can be on mobility but really the entry point is starting to understand humans and then to uh, start to uh, design and uh, our approach is really human centered which it's uh, uh, it's very particular and very characteristic of the type of work that our lab is doing so when we talk about design we um, we really think uh, broadly, how we can engage with the context, how we can engage with the environment, how we can understand people, and then how we can design media and technology or, or experience or services that can better support uh, community and societies. For example, we have run a project on Google Glasses, trying to rethink how people can design urban experiences or museum experiences. So in that particular case, we, uh, to give an example, um, we had students that started to understand how wearable computing and Google Glass in particular can better support how people have knowledge about food, how people access to information related to food, how people behave at restaurants. But instead of starting to uh, design uh, the application, and instead of starting to play with technology, we started to uh, do ethnographic research, having students going inside bars, talking to people, and uh, trying to understand how people behave in restaurants. And this is a crucial element of what, what we do. Ethnographic research really meaning trying to understand people and trying to understand users. Then, in the second phase, we started to design application to support the food experience. And in that particular case with Google Glasses, we students realized that uh, it was very important to have just-in-time information about food that we may not know or we are not aware or we uh, don't know that exists where users are in context. So the application that we designed with Google Glass is really an application that uh, was able to provide students just in time, user just in time information about the food that we're going to have. So if we think how the Internet of Things, how uh, objects communicating to people and devices and to objects uh, is, is progressing right now, this is a very good indication of how we could design in a very nice and simple way uh, object that can support social interaction.